Hey guys, this is Steve Steele. And this video is about my 2009 Mac Pro that I updated to 2010 specs with the uh, firmware update and the Intel 5690 Westmare CPUs, which are 3.46 gigahertz and two of them equals 12 cores. Here are the parts that you need. You can just hit pause to take a look at it. I recommend the disposable medical gloves. They're the purple kind that you can get at a drugstore. Not only do they insulate your hands from the daughter board, but they keep any oils, pH, whatever off the daughter board. Okay, they also act as insulators. Okay, so here is the inside of the case after I've pulled the daughter board out. The daughter board is on the bottom. You can see the connector there at the back on the bottom that connects the daughter board to the logic board, pulls out real easily. Those are the heat sinks that you see at the bottom of the photo. I had already removed them. Real easy process. Here's the wrench that you'll need. You see the specs there. You'll take the wrench and you'll go straight down the long end into the heat sinks Turn about nine turns counterclockwise, and you'll feel the, the screws. They don't come out. They, they're spring-loaded. They just sort of pop out of place, and then you can just let go. All right? Don't sit there and turn them forever. They just pressure release after about nine turns. One thing I'll add is if you can afford or if you can find a torque hex wrench and then find on the internet the specs for the exact torque for tightening down the heat sink on the CPUs, I would definitely do that. If you just tighten it hand tight, you'll be fine. But if you have a chance to use a torque wrench, do it. And then gently pull the heat sinks straight up and out. Uh, to the left there, you'll see in a second, there's um, some there's an electrical connector and you want to be careful with that. But this picture just shows the CPUs may stick to the bottom of the heat sinks, but it's no big deal. It's just the thermal paste. Just sort of gently wiggle them off by touching the green sides. Don't touch the contacts. All right, here it shows the red lines and circles show the electrical connectors that connects the heat sink to the daughter board. And also, uh, yeah, be careful. That's why I want you to pull these straight out. Don't, don't pull them from side to side. You can slightly wiggle them, but here on the daughter board is marked CPU B, CPU A. Make sure you keep the heat sinks that you pulled out of CPU A and CPU B with those because they do not interchange. So here's one of the CPUs I pulled out. There's a little thermal paste stuck to it, no big deal. What I wanted to show you were those two little indentions on the top left and top right. The CPUs can only go in one way and there's a little place for them to go in and you'll see that, okay? Here are the Kim pads. What you're gonna do is take these out and here are the heat sinks after you pull a CPU off. Now, I photoshopped that little gray on there, but that's basically what the thermal paste will look like after you pull a CPU off. Just take the one of the chem pads and a little bit of force, just try to swipe it off gently, and then you can even more gently just sort of clean it off. Okay, and it'll look like that brand new. All right, so that's pretty easy. Uh, you can see the electrical connector on the top right there, okay? So we're going to take a look at that in a minute when we reassemble. Here is a CPU. This is the 5690 that I installed. Notice I put a pea-sized uh, piece of thermal paste on there. And that black area that's surrounding the CPU is just a little uh, holder on there, okay? So you'll put the CPU on, then the black part. And then we're going to take a look at those bolts around the edges. Those are the bolts that the when you put the hex screw in and you unscrew it, that's where they become disconnected. Okay, here's a video of the Cray Kraken. And this guy is doing a CPU swap. 
just like we're doing here. And what I want you to look at is the pea-sized thermal paste that he puts on. That's the way a pro does it, because when you put the heat sink back on, it's going to evenly spread the thermal paste via pressure. All right, now putting it back together, you're going to match the electrical connectors on the heat sinks on the daughter board, set them, st go straight on, all right? Tighten the uh, bolts about nine turns until you feel them lock in, and then you're gonna slide the daughter board in into those connectors, fit snug. Can't mess this one up. And the little flaps there at the end on the daughter board are what lock it in. All right, guys. This is a real easy job. It's no different than installing RAM except for the thermal paste. And with switching RAM or with installing RAM, the same applies here. You want to discharge the static electricity from your body before you do this job. You know, don't rub your socks on some shag carpeting and then start touching the, the daughter board. You know, you're going to fry the circuitry. But otherwise, just put it on a wooden bench, wear some medical gloves, wear some some uh, boots or some tennis shoes that have rubber soles, you know, non-conductive material, and make sure you touch plastic surfaces, not gold contacts, and this job will take no more than 20 minutes and you'll have a great computer that will last. It's really a no-brainer job, so don't be worried about it. People in the industry do this all the time, okay? All right, guys, if you have any questions, I know this video is really quick. If you have any questions, just send them to me and uh, I will answer them. Uh, maybe I'll take mine apart and just uh, videotape it again. It's no big deal to me. I guess I should say for legal reasons that um, if you do this and something goes wrong, I am not liable. Sorry, but that's it. All right, guys, take care.